Okay, let's show you how to embed uh, a, a PDF or any other file for that matter uh, that can be previewed in SpeedGrade or whatever uh, into your page in Canvas. So this can be on a, on a page or an assignment or, or whatever. Um, so first step, you know, sign into Canvas, go to the page or the assignment or whatever uh, that you want to embed this document into. And I just happen to have a page here that says embedding PDFs or other files in Canvas. Okay, uh, go into the editing mode so that you see the rich content, content editor. And then put your cursor wherever you want that uh, document to be. Um, so cursor goes there. And then over here on the, the content uh, manager, whatever they call that, click on the files tab. And um, in your course files, if you have a document, uh, you know, Excel document, PDF, whatever, uh, you need to do, if, if you don't have that document there, you need to go through the upload process, choose the file, put it in the folder, and then upload it. But once it's in this list here, you just click on it, uh, and Canvas nicely automatically puts a little link there for me, right? So here's the crucial step. This is how you've done it in the past, or link to it, whatever else. Um, and I guess you could take a, a link from a Google document or whatever, it's something to try, but click inside the link and then click the link editor, this little chain link right there. And then this is the magic box, auto open this inline, the inline preview for this link, and then update. And then once you save the page, it will work for a second. You may see a little cycling panda. It'll still have the link to the document, but then voila, there's the preview uh, of that document. If you hit full screen, you can see that document full screen and you can only see a part of my screen, but anyway, it's you see the document full on, hit the escape key, that takes you back to that page in Canvas. There you go. Uh, if you want to have multiple documents embedded on the same post, you just need to do that same little process for each one. Just go back, edit the link, click in the link. Once you've dropped it in from files, click the little link button and then auto open this preview. And that'll do it.